Well, good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you and you've had a good night's rest and you're ready to face the weekend, whatever you got planned or whatever's in store for you. I'm going to read to you from the book of Genesis. Matter of fact, the first writings um, in the Bible organized in the way it is that, as we know it, Genesis chapter 1 and starting with verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas, and God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass and herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seeds is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind, and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. Now we go on to read the story, the um, creation account. And as we read this, we go all the way up into uh, God creating man, and then God also resting. I think sometimes Satan would like us to believe that that God is not all powerful and he's not all knowing and he can't do it all and he can't see all that is happening when we know that that's not the case. And there is a verse of scripture that that asks the question is there anything impossible with God or makes the statement nothing is or nothing shall be impossible with God. What is impossible for man uh, will not be impossible with God. And so, of course, we can look at God as he uh, created the earth and then created man to take care of the earth. And then we sometimes live in fear of the things that happen maybe that we can't control we're afraid that maybe God cannot fix what we've got wrong with us. And sometimes that's physical and sometimes it's not. And I'm not God, so I can't answer why he does, uh, why he heals some people, why he doesn't, why some people live, why some people die. I, I don't have those answers. That's not for me to, to, uh, to answer. Have I questioned that before? Have I wondered why before? I have, but um, not accusingly, it just, it has to be what it is. That's far beyond me to know the answer to that. But I do know that there is nothing that God can't do. And so in that, even if the loss of a loved one means that we will be reunited again in death, then that's what it will be. And it's not an impossibility with God to bring us together with folks that he has allowed us uh, to gather with, meet, live with here in this life. I don't understand, like I said the other day, um, not only do I not understand all that heaven has to offer, I'm sure I don't even understand an inkling of what it has to offer. 
but I do know that when we get there, it has to be uh, the most tremendous sight to our eyes and hearing. Maybe you've heard me say this before, but uh, a pastor uh, on his deathbed said to me that he had had what he thought was a vision. He wasn't for sure, but he said, all I know was, he said, it just seemed like the colors were so vivid. He said, I was standing on a mountaintop looking over uh, out through a valley. And he said, the colors were so bright and vivid, unlike anything he had ever seen before. And to hear the voices of those that were worshiping God and singing praises to him. He said, languages that he had never heard before, but all in unison singing to God. I don't even know what it will be like. Uh, but I know that it will be great. There's nothing impossible with God. That's what this song talks about. If God can speak uh, life, and he can, and he does, uh, there's nothing impossible with him. And so whatever it is that you are in need of today, I pray that you will just allow him to work in his time. There's nothing, no nothing, that my God can't do. He measured the sea in the palm of His hand. The mountains were placed at His command. And the sound of his voice, the sun came through. There's nothing that my God can't do. There's nothing, no. My God can do miracles and wonders. There's nothing, no nothing, that my God can do. He named Every star, then he hung them on high. The moon spread its light across God's great sky. And the same mighty God can take a heart like stone, wash it, and and make it his own. There's nothing, no nothing. There's nothing that my God Lord, as we come to you, we do thank you for the day you've given us, Lord, and we thank you for the opportunity to look into your word, Lord, and we are thankful that we serve a God that when we speak, he hears us. When we pray and we seek his face, we will receive answers from him, a living God. We're thankful for that. We pray that you would bless today in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, folks, unless you tune in uh, to watch our service tomorrow, I will see you Monday. God bless and have a great weekend.